Um, maybe you're wondering now, um, so what does an LAS look like? And again, it, can, it, it will have those three parts, but it can have uh, different forms. And the next few slides will show us uh, different examples of learning activity sheets. And I'll try to uh, walk you through the different learning activity sheets that we have here. So most of the learning activity sheets that we have is in the form of a concept notes. So we call it a con concept notes because this is where the teacher will explain the stu to the students a lesson that they need to learn. So uh, what you see on the screen right now is uh, an example of a, of a concept note for math. Uh, this is for grade 7 math. And you notice that uh, in this example, in this uh, concept note, uh, you start with the concept digest or what it means. So um, if, since the lesson is about the intersection, then we try to define what the intersection of set is at the very start. And then in order for the student to understand this, an illustration was provided as well as some examples. Now, um, after the digest and the example, uh, fo what follows is the exercise. So in the exercise, the student will try to copy this and answer this based on how he understands the learning activity sheet. So this is for math. And another kind of concept note, um, this is for Filipino, wherein uh, the topic is about uri ng dula. So in this concept notes, uh, the teacher provided uh, the six uh, different kinds. And in each kind, a teacher tried to provide an example. And again, after the concept digest and the example, what follows is uh, the exercise, or in this case, ang pagsasanay. So if you look at this uh, example, there's only one question that will help the, the teacher check if the student already understood the lesson. So most again, most of the learning activity sheet is in the form of a concept note. And aside from the concept note, uh, what we also have is a laboratory report. So uh, this is for science subjects. So, but what's, uh, even before the pandemic, uh, we didn't have a lot of laboratory activities uh, uh, in CVFDLT because we believe that uh, a lot of the concepts can be learned even in the absence of a, of a laboratory activity. But just in case we have laboratory activities, so these activities um, are carefully chosen uh, so that we use materials that can be easily found in our community or these uh, materials can be improvised. So this is a very simple uh, laboratory activity about an example of the phase transition of matter. Uh, if you notice, the materials are very easy to, uh, to have. And then there are instructions. And after the instructions are some questions that the students need to answer in order for the teacher to check again if the, the, the student understands uh, this laboratory activity. So this is done independently by the student. So even if they're at home, where most of the materials uh, uh, can also be found, um, they can do this laboratory report. And then aside from the concept notes and the laboratory report, we have skills, drills, or exercises. Uh, I'm sure for teachers, after we present a lesson, uh, we know that uh, additional exercises are needed in order for the students to understand the lesson uh, better. So. In, in, uh, in such a time, it doesn't mean that you need to provide the concept again, but you can immediately start with the exercise. So these are supplementary or additional drills uh, we have, uh, which we think are necessary after we present a lesson. So um, for example, in this um, uh, activity, uh, we, we ask them to uh, uh, look at living things and non-living things and write down uh, certain characteristics. Uh, aside from this uh, example, we also have, I think, an example for English wherein we can uh, check if the student already understands our, the, the lesson about types of sentences. So in, in this example, notice that we already didn't have the concept digest or the concept notes, but we proceeded immediately with the exercise questions. And it can come in two parts. So the first uh, test type 
uh, will be about identifying if it is a simple sentence or a compound sentence. And then for the second part uh, is we will ask our students to write a compound sentence using the following connectives. So notice that for skills, drills, and exercises, this can be helpful in any subject, let's say math, uh, science, English, Filipino, and social studies, where we think that additional exercises are needed after we present to our student the lesson in the form of the concept notes. And lastly, what we have uh, will be drawing and art. So um, probably some of you are now thinking, is copying the only thing that they do in dynamic learning program? Uh, the answer there is a uh, no, because uh, we do have other activities aside from writing uh, activities. And this can be in the form of a drawing or an art. So this activity for Araling Panlipunan uh, will ask the student to draw uh, uh, something based on the question, uh, which is sa inyong opinion, bakit mahalaga ang pag-aaral ng kasaysayan. So in, uh, instead of uh, having other uh, means to answer, so for this activity, what the students will do is will try to draw um, their answer based on this question. So aside from this, even in math, wherein uh, the learning of concepts uh, can be made more understandable when there are figures. So this lesson about the different uh, types of angle uh, can be a drawing activity wherein uh, with the use of a pencil and a protractor, our students will be able to draw angles uh, with different angle measurements. So you see here, the learning activity sheets, uh, even though they have a basic model wherein you have the concept digest, the example, and the exercise, it can come in many forms. Uh, so we can have concept notes when we present new lessons. We can have laboratory reports for our science subjects, skills, drills, and exercises when we think that additional um, uh, activities are needed after we present the lesson. And lastly, drawing and art. So marami pang, marami pang different types na meron. Uh, but most of the time, th these are the four types that we have for uh, the learning activity sheet. For updated details about CVIF DLP or CVIF Dynamic Learning Program, continuously follow us and visit CVIF DLP Facebook page, CVIF DLP Discussion Group, and DLP.ph.